Should I back up to an SD card, a USB stick, or an SSD? Hi everyone, Leo Noutenboom here for AskLeo.com. Here's a question I got some time ago. Now that you can buy a 256 gigabyte SD card for around 25 bucks, would that be a good way to back up a laptop? I hate plugging in an external drive to back up my laptop. This way I can schedule automatic backups and not worry about connecting the media. The 256 gigabyte card has a lifetime warranty, so if it fails, you can, in theory, get a replacement. Any idea about the expected failure time for reading or writing the SD card daily? So, I'll be honest with you, this feels like a really bad idea. There are a couple of things that actually make me uncomfortable about this. First, I want to point out something about warranties. I think that we don't think about warranties properly. What does a lifetime warranty really mean? Well, it means if the SD card dies, you get a free replacement for the card. But if the SD card dies, it takes whatever's on it. Poof! All the backups you may have stored on it are gone, typically with no hope of recovery. Of course, you can say the same of any external hard drive. They also die, though technically the data stands a somewhat higher chance of recovery should that external drive be a traditional hard drive. The difference here is what lifetime we expect from the hardware. So we have to talk about flash memory, specifically the kind that's used in SD cards or USB memory sticks, versus the kind that's used in SSDs or solid state drives. A $25, 256 gigabyte SD card or even a USB memory stick falls into the category of what I would typically call cheap flash memory. Flash memory wears out more quickly the more often you write to it. And periodic backups can write a lot of data. I would not trust my backups to a cheap SD card. However, an SSD, a solid state drive, is a different beast and honestly, the per terabyte prices look comparable. While it technically uses flash memory, it's of higher quality. It's not a card. You can't just insert it into an SD slot. It's either designed to be the hard disk drive replacement for your machine or an external drive, the very thing you're trying to avoid. Now, while an SSD lifespan is likely to be much longer than the cheap flash memory card used in an SD card, I still wouldn't use SSDs for backups. Why? It's a waste. The big advantage of SSDs is their speed, specifically their reading speed. When used as a primary system drive, you'll often notice significant improvements in your overall system speed. It's one of the best upgrades you can make to an older machine, replacing an old traditional spinning magnetic platter hard drive with an SSD. But for a variety of reasons, you just don't need that much speed for a backup. For the same money, you can get much more traditional hard disk storage that is perfect for backing up. Now, clearly, any backup is better than no backup. SD cards and USB sticks are convenient, it's true. I see the appeal of being able to insert an SD card into the side of your laptop and back up. And perhaps for some kinds of backup, like making a quick copy of the files you've been working on while on the road, it might even be a pragmatic approach. I personally prefer online services like Dropbox or OneDrive or Google Drive or several others that will do the same thing automatically. But for large image backups, as I still recommend, cheap flash memory is just not yet something I'm ready to trust. Backing up is too important. I would much prefer backing up to an external, traditional hard disk that you connect periodically. This is what I do even when I travel. Or backing up to an external SSD, which is basically the same thing, just more expensive for the amount of space you've got to back up to. Or even backing up over the network to another machine, if that's an option. Bottom line, of course, back up somehow. My preference is that you use an external drive to regularly create system image backups. Failing that, any backup is better than no backup. Ask yourself, if your laptop's hard drive died suddenly, 
what would you lose? Make sure that is backed up as you go. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 14343. Remember, you can ask questions at askleo.com ask. You can subscribe to my newsletter at askleo.com newsletter. And you can support Ask Leo by visiting askleo.com patron. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.